The Al Medina International Stadium in Baghdad hosts the final match in Group B for Iraq's Air Force and Saudi Arabia's Al Tawun. The home side need a better result than that achieved by Al Khaldia, who faced Altin Azeh in the group's other game. Wezen Rizik's Air Force are captained by the 27 year old Bashir Rezen, and the three time AFC Cup winners, top scorers, are Ala Abbas and Hiran Ahmad. Al Tawun are captained by the Dutch Moroccan midfielder Ashraf Al Madiwi. Their main threat comes on the wings with the Gambia's Musa Barrow and Saudi Arabia's Sultan Mandash, who have four and three goals respectively. And it is the home side Air Force in the blue with the game's first chance in the 14th minute. Hiran Ahmad with a decent effort, but the Brazilian male turning goal for the visitors in the yellow kit sees it all the way. At the other end, Al Tawun with their number 10. A decent effort and it's spilled by the goalkeeper and Flavio is there from a tight angle. 24-year-old keeper Ali Ibadi gets something behind it. And the follow-up is into the side netting. Air Force keep on the pressure in the 33rd minute. Decent ball to the back post. It's not cleared, only to the edge of the box. And hammered back in, Musa Barrow, wide of the mark. Both defences have been on top in this first half but Air Force will have to come out into the second half. They need the win. However, it is Al Tawun in the 48th minute with a corner, and they break the deadlock. Andre Girotto gets on the end of Mateus's corner. The Brazilian stabs it home, and this could be a dagger to the heart of Air Force's hopes for qualification to the next round. Al Tawun continuing the pressure here in the 57th minute. Comes to the number nine, and it's a good reflex save. Musa Barrow on the follow-up after Abdul Fattah Adam Mohammed's side foot effort had been parried away. Air Force with just over 15 minutes remaining of the game. Try to come back into it. The cross from Kilota finds Ala Abbas. But Mail San is quickly down to his right to snuff out the danger. Time running out for the home side if they're to get themselves onto the score sheet and try and rescue their campaign into the final phase of the game, 87th minute. Mustafa Walid has a shot from distance. Dips viciously and it ends up on the roof of the goal after he'd taken the free kick himself. And the final chance of the day goes the way of Al Tawun. In stoppage time, the corner to the back post and a header from Owen Al Saluli. The centre back has the chance to put the game to bed, but he can't find a way past Abadi in goal. So the final whistle sounds, and Air Force succumb to a 1 0 defeat at the hands of Al Tawun, meaning they are eliminated from this year's Champions League 2 competition. Al Tawun finish as Group B winners.